what's the go with massage guns? I'm Chris Mills with surfstrengthcoach.com. Massage guns, sex toys, what's this weird cane for? Let's get into some things you should and some things I don't even know about massage guns. First question I always get, what's the go? Are they worthwhile? And overall, I would say absolutely. The biggest point I can generally give people is that you need to find one, if you are looking for one, that fits your price point. This is one that I've used, I think it's like 80 or 90 bucks from a brand named Nacot, N-A-C-O-T. This is a Hydra gun, this is great. I think this is in like the $120, $150 category, I'm not totally sure. And this is a Thayer gun, these ain't cheap. Yes, there are distinctions in specific tech capacities. I've been told that Thayer gun has a lot, a much deeper plunging, ooh, don't get kinky, a, a more of, what, see, I, I, I lost my train of thought here. What, are we, what am I trying to say? This pushes deeper into tissue than perhaps the others. But does that make a huge difference? I don't know. And I honestly haven't tested out durability or longevity of these to know. Other than what I do know, they feel good. It legit feels legit. So if you are actively looking for one, find one that fits your budget and then get on the internet and find some reviews. So overall, they're legit. I've already said that. I think I've used the word legit like four or five times now. We just need that legit counter like Jamie O'Brien does for psyching. I'm the froth lord, so maybe I'm the legit lord now. Hashtag AKA legit lord, AKA froth lord, froth shaman, shaman. So it's part of another, it's, a, it's another tool. I use a Theracane on my neck and can get into posterior rotator cuff. I'll use a tennis ball to get in kind of adductors, superior knee joint. I'll use this on shoulders. It's another tool for you to help look after your body. So some specifics, how do you use the damn thing? What I tell clients, do not, do not, it ain't legit on your neck. And a while back in one of the Facebook groups for the Surf Strength Coach community, uh, you should join that. Lots of good, legit stuff in there. A doctor even chimed in. Um, so if you put this onto the neck, let's crank it up. No. Your eyeballs start vibrating. There's so much nervous system tissue, the nerves, all the cranial nerves, like, and even I think he, the doctor in the group had said it, it can start doing something, I believe, with carotid artery, jugular veins as well. Stay away from the neck. It's a sensitive area. You can go trap, right? What we as surfers really want is back. That's the one downside. You need a girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other, or a contraption to hang this against a wall so you can get into the back. It's, it's hard, it's kind of cumbersome, right? You can, I'll do back and shoulder kind of this way, but you know, it ain't ideal. So one way to use it, I primarily use them for recovery. I don't use them pre-workout, maybe, like I said, I surfed a lot the last couple days pumping. I had yesterday, no shit, the gnarliest, bottomed out, faded this thing, huge bottom turn, then the thing just starts drawing off this sandbar to like casual beach break pit. I don't ever get filmed surfing, so you just have to take my word for it. I'm probably bullshitting. I can't even surf. So, uh, lost my train of thought, tissue. Like my shoulder, I'm gonna use it through pec, you can see all through deltoid, tricep. What I instruct to people, use it for recovery. It's good through anywhere through the quads. I hit calf tissue quite often with it, adductors. But I like to add movement. Same with tennis ball release work. If I'm going after deltoid, you're not gonna be able to hear me talk through this microphone over. All right, can you hear me? I uh, kinda, I don't know. 
I'm going after Deltoid. It feels good, right? It's nice to just lay here. This is my microphone. I don't know if you can hear me at all. It's nice to just... I think this one's a little quieter. This is the Nakot. Nakot? I don't even know how to say it. That's quieter. Okay. So, it's nice to just lay here and massage that stuff out. But I like, just with tennis ball release work, to start adding some movement to it. Because with movement, you're putting information into the brain through range of motion, but you're also stretching tissue, not, you're moving tissue under percussion and pressure. So if I'm going into pec, I might start getting into some pec stretches, whoa, right? I could do some lat, I could start getting into some lat stretches through there. So one, just sit there and chill with it, right? Like that feels nice, let's just sit, but then I'll start putting some movement into that tissue. The other key is whichever tissue you're working on, keep it relaxed, right? So I would try to find, it's easy to keep the deltoid relaxed here, it's just down, right? I would sit in my recliner and I'll just have my arm hanging over the back of the recliner going through tricep because then I can kind of flex and extend that tissue. I might lay on my side and start going after lat. But if I want to do shoulder or upper back, I'm not trying to contract the tissue by holding this and be here. I want to keep that tissue relaxed and then use the other arm to start kind of going into it. And then, like I said, getting into your own low back and stuff is kind of difficult. If I am going upper back, I'll kind of start doing this kind of thing you know, and then hopefully convince my girlfriend to, which don't happen. Can you please just like put this here for like 30 seconds? Rarely happens. So what I don't know about it is the specifics in terms of research. Hyper per percussion, right? What is it doing? What we do know is that tissue work is generally modulation of the nervous system and the brain's regulation of tone in muscle. Meaning, I'm not breaking up adhesions and knots with a tennis ball. There's not enough force implied or applied. What I am doing is through Golgi tendon organs and muscle spindles and different mechanisms of how your brain is aware of muscle tone, it is changing that. So if my biceps are really tight or my deltoids are really tight from heaps of paddling, I can massage through that and perhaps downgrade some tone, but overall, it feels good. And yes, the effects are likely, there's a local tissue effect perhaps, maybe it's moving fluid in and out of tissue. Maybe it has an effect on some lymph system, I don't know. It is having an effect on the brain's interpretation of tone and tissue. But again, I haven't dove into the research. I don't care about diving into the research. What I know, again, is that it feels, here's that counter, ping it, legit. So. Again, maybe it's having an effect on cellular or metabolic waste. Like I surfed as much as possible the last three days. When I'm watching Netflix tonight, what am I watching currently? Shadow and Bones, okay. I found an old show out of the UK called Utopia. It's pretty rad. And Hands Made Tale just stresses me out. Oh, she's always, that's why I stopped watching Homeland. Because she was always freaking out, having, and then in Hands Made Tale, she's always on the, oh, it's horrible. So I'm going to be going through bicep, deltoids, some back stuff, not knowing specifically what's happening at a local cellular level. But I do know it seems to feel good, it's legit, and it seems to help with my recovery. And that's what's most important to me. Maybe down the road, I'll dive into some research. I don't know. So it kind of comes down to if you've got some money, you should know, you should have a Theracane. You should know how to do a tennis ball. And then if you got some money, find one that fits into your budget. So hope that gives you some insight. Like I said, predominantly, I use them for recovery. Chill, relax, Netflix is on, get into some gun stuff, stretch tissue, research-based. I don't really know what it's doing. It feels good. And to me, it's part of this whole recovery process. Again, 
all the surfing the last couple days. I'll go into some Theracane for the neck. Ocean Sports Academy, that's my membership site on the app. Get the Surf Athlete app because it's, there's legit, legit, that's like number nine, legit froth lord. I go through full Theracane tutorials on how to do this with the neck. So tonight I will do some neck stuff. I will do tissue release to posterior shoulder and then I will start Theragunning everything and maybe convince the girlfriend because my right QL, I have a right SI joint thing and my right QL always goes nasty. So get the Surf Athlete app, join OSA, Ocean Sports Academy, really cost effective monthly membership site, and then get a Theragun, or sorry, a massage gun that fits within your budget. Cool? You got a body, might as well look after it, and I think these are honestly a cool tool to start helping to look after.